It is the number one item that Portlanders dump into landfills. Can you guess what it is? It's actually food scraps, but now the Metro Council is trying to make good use of that waste. Our Chris Woodard is digging deeper into that. Chris? Yeah, and this transfer station, one of only two places in the metro area right now where those food scraps can be brought, and that is going to have to change if Metro is successful in figuring out what they have to do to make sure more people and businesses are separating the food scraps out of their trash. The problem is in the trash. Because the largest single thing you're throwing away in trucks are then dumping here? Food scraps. Metro wants more of them separated out of the trash and going into this beautiful pile. Because, believe it or not, this is a resource we are literally throwing away. It's an adjustment. Um, we're primarily focused on what could businesses do to keep from putting large quantities of food scraps in their trash. I learned about one fifth of what we throw away every year in the Portland Metro is food. If separated, food scraps can be used for things like generating energy or fertilizer. Lettuce, grapes. They tried to do that in Seattle with an ordinance that bans people from throwing food or compostable items in the trash. Now, a group has filed a lawsuit against the city because garbage collectors are required to look through trash. The city's new garbage inspection law is a gross violation of our privacy. I asked if that is something they're considering here. No, no, not at all. Uh, we have no interest in snooping through people's trash. Matter of fact, we think that the people here want to separate these materials out because they value compost. Here, the focus is on commercial trash or businesses and finding the best way to encourage, educate, and help them separate a valuable resource and then figuring out the best financial way to make sure it doesn't get dumped into landfills. So here's what the Metro Council decided at their work session today. They do want to move forward with exploring different regulations or incentives to make sure that businesses are encouraged and are indeed separating those food scraps out of their trash. They say for right now, they'll be content sending those food scraps, trucking them out of this area to where the facilities already exist. But they say long term, they'd even like to have some of those conversion to electricity type facilities right here in our area. But they say that would be a long way down the road. Live in Northwest Portland, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin 6 News. Yeah.